Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. I am here with Arbold, who is uh, one of the, the main builders, I suppose technically the leader uh, of Builders Unit, uh, who is a very established building team on the uh, Xbox 360 edition of Minecraft. And I'm here at the Palace of Sodon, and I'm getting a very special sneak peek of the palace, and I know you can uh, probably see uh, a bit of it in the background uh, over there. So yeah, you can already see uh, how amazing this place looks, but in a minute I'm going to be heading over there there uh, to have a look on the inside uh, but first I want to give a very quick shout out uh, to some of the builders you can see obviously see there Airbold who is the uh, the person who's invited me in and the uh, the host and uh, here are a whole load of the uh, the other builders uh, that helped create this map uh, in the description uh, there's going to be a link to uh, Builders Unit's uh, website, uh, as well as their Twitter, YouTube channel, and uh, a download to the map, maybe. Uh, as I'm recording this, the map isn't yet uh, out for download. Uh, I'm getting a very exclusive sneak peek, but uh, by the, ch the the chances are that, uh, yeah, by the time you're watching this, uh, the map will be out for download. So if you can download maps and uh, you wanted to go and have a look around for yourself, uh, then yeah, maybe... Uh, there'll be a link in the description to download and uh, I'll be adding it uh, as soon as it is released. And just look at this place. This place is absolutely huge. Let me quickly show you on my map. And this is all just one palace. This is all just one building. Like it takes up a pretty decent portion of the map with just one massive building. And it looks awesome uh, in the, uh, the natural texture pack as well. And look at this. Look at that massive statue over there. How crazy does that look? At the end of the video, I will go and uh, fly over everything so you can see it all from above. But this place looks crazy. And in the texture pack as well, like, uh, the detail is, like, amazing. Like, look at those towers. Like, if I was going to build that tower, that would be, like, one big straight rectangle, like, going up to the sky. But just look at, like, all of the, the detail that they have added. And uh, it's not just from the, uh, the outside we're going to be seeing it. Uh, apparently he's spent uh, as much love and care building the interiors uh, as he has the exteriors. And look at these benches. These are rather fancy. Let's go and uh, have a sit down. I feel like a kid. I feel like uh, like a little a little child that isn't quite big enough to sit on their seats. You know, like I've got to try and jump up to try and get on top of it. Uh, it's really funky. It's certainly uh, a bit more... Uh, yeah, a bit more fancy than the standard put down some steps with some signs on the end. The uh, uh, the kind of thing that I would build. That uh, is why I'm not the leader of an established build team. Uh, I'm just an idiot who makes Minecraft videos. And what's this here? Oh, this is like a little tower of water. Do you think that I can swim up here? I love these things. You can kind of use these as ladders. Now, I have no idea how they do it to make the, uh, the water float like this. But yeah, you can kind of float up like a tractor beam. And look at that. How about that for like a background view? Just seeing the whole massive palace in the background. <laughs> oh, this place is absolutely absolutely amazing. It took them a very long time to build, uh, which is understandable. They were building it uh, on and off for about four months. Uh, so they were working on other uh, builds at the same time, other worlds. But yeah, four months on one project is crazy. And I know that uh, I've been building in my lovely world for over a year. But uh, yeah, nothing nothing to the, uh, the same extent as this. And look at the well. Do you think this works? What happens if I pull the lever? No, oh, nothing happens. I wanted something to happen. Well, I actually just remembered. Uh, I do need to stamp you this world. I do have cake on me. And if you don't know what stamping is, uh, basically as I'm touring around someone's world, uh, I always challenge myself to try and hide cake. And uh, yeah, the more successful stampies I have, uh, yeah, the better I did. So uh, I need to try and hide a cake somewhere uh, without whoever's giving me the tour noticing. So that is uh, going to be my challenge. And make sure you do it to your friends as well. It's the best way to grief. It's the happiest and friendliest way to grief. And look at the background of the, the angel statue. This place looks amazing. Like, I can't I feel like I'm in a different game. It kind of just doesn't feel like Minecraft. I don't know, like, it seems, like, less blocky, if that makes sense. Like, they've added so much detail. Everything just seems, I don't know, like, kind of smoother. I sort of feel like I'm, I'm playing a game like Skyrim or something rather than Minecraft. And look at that. How about that for a view? You don't see things like that in most people's world, do you? This palace is insane. Um, I wonder if I can, I wonder if I can purchase it. Can I, can I move in? Do you reckon if I asked him very nicely, I'd be, I don't know, like at least be able to rent a room here just so I can have this as my house? Of course, it's very dark in here. I don't like this place down here. I'm not sure what, what that area is. I'm kind of looking forward to, to seeing the inside because he did say that uh, he spent as much time uh, working on the inside as he has the, uh, the outside, which, um, yeah, hopefully it's going to be uh, like a big massive hallway. Like hopefully it's not split up into loads of rooms because I always like that uh, when you can go in and you just look up and you can can see uh, the really high ceilings and stuff but I think that because we've been uh, wandering around in the grounds we had to wash ourselves off we had to to dunk our feet in the in the fountains and uh, get nice and clean just so we don't bring any dirt and oh he gave me some cookies as well <laughs> is this like the uh, the gift is is there normally people here 
here that like greet you and give you cookies as you enter. And look at this! Oh look, there's another... There's another big statue there. Look, can you see there's like a, a big man holding... Is that like a, like a ball of water? It kind of looks like he's a fortune teller or something. Is there a man in there? Is there a man inside of a, a big massive ball? It's kind of hard to, to see what that is. Let, let's work our way up and let's see if we can uh, find out what that thing is. I've lost Airbow and I think he's uh, trying to get my attention over here. I want to go and see what that is. I want to go and see whatever that is up there. Okay, I guess we're... Uh, going around to, to see one of the, the towers first. That's just teased me. Just showing me a quick glimpse of uh, what it looks like inside the palace, then leading me away. That's just, just a very mean thing to do. But uh, yeah, these towers uh, do look uh, equally as good as the uh, the palace, but they're uh, just not quite as big. I guess you uh, can't go all the way up to the top, but look at it. Look at just how bumpy and like, <laughs> like almost messy, but like not messy. Like it all kind of works like... I don't know, it, it always blows my mind when I go to worlds like this and I just see what is what is capable on the, the Xbox edition of Minecraft. Like, it's amazing. There's just a certain select group of people that uh, just take uh, the building and the design work just to that next level. It's just that, just that one step above what uh, the majority of the people can create. And it's amazing. It's a, a, such a, a good showcase of uh, what can be done in the uh, the Xbox edition. And oh no, I fell down. I guess I could go up the tractor beam. I could go and swim up the water. I'm going to very slightly cheat seeing as I fell down. I didn't want to uh, start from the beginning. I think this leads to the palace. I think this all kind of all leads together. I think it, it might all link up. Oh, here we go. We can go get another view of it. That's where we went and uh, washed our feet off. And that's where he gave us the cookie. Just look at this place. The size of it. This place is just... It's just so massive. Just every time you see it from a different angle, it just looks uh, that bit more impressive. And also, when I uh, when I joined into the world, we joined at night... And uh, we looked at the uh, the entire place lit up at night, and uh, I personally think it actually looked better. Uh, I asked Arbold before we um, uh, started the video, and I said, do you think that it looks better at night or day? Like, should I uh, start the video at day or night? And he said, I don't know. I think it looks good in both. So uh, I think he, he likes it in both, but I think... Um, I personally prefer it at night, uh, just because it's so lit up, and I think it, I don't know, it just looks uh, that bit more impressive. I want to go and investigate. I think there might be a, an NPC villager just in that massive orb up there. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, though. Should we Should we go up the stairs this way and see if we can uh, get a, a little bit higher? No, I, don't, I don't think he wants me to go this way. Is that is that the way you want me to go? I think, I think he's trying to get my attention this way. I think he's going to show me absolutely everything before he gets to show me uh, what I wanted to see up there. But uh, the entire the entire place does look absolutely amazing. And um, like this is only uh, the bottom floor as well. Like I know the ceiling's quite high. There's not going to be uh, millions of different rooms. But uh, yeah, like we, I feel like we, we've only seen a, a small portion of the, the actual palace so far. Like I think this is like the, the definitely the, the main bit here though. Uh, right, let's go and have a look around this way. I've uh, got a few enchanting tables, uh, a weird glass pillar. And I've, I've never really seen anyone uh, using glass panes like that. It does look pretty cool, though. And I don't know whether they... Actually, I suppose they must have uh, started building in the old texture pack and then switched across. Uh, because, uh, obviously, as they've been building this for four months, they must have uh, started in the, the original default texture pack and then uh, had to switch over. And here we go. This is the this is the staircase I was trying to go up earlier, but then I got <laughs> uh, told off and had to go uh, back down to the other side. Uh, how can we get on top of that statue? I don't know uh, whether you can actually get on top of it, but I just wanted to investigate that, that poor man who's just been stuck in that orb forever. Like, I know there is, there is some sort of storyline, uh, I don't really know too much about it, but apparently uh, to do with the statue, there was like a dictator or something. And yeah, apparently there is a, a little bit of backstory in terms of what this uh, palace is and uh, why it's all here and uh, who the statues are. And I don't know all about it, but I guess uh, in one of their videos, they uh, might explain it a little bit further. And to be honest, I kind of, I like the mystery. I like the, I like the fact that I don't know, everything's a little bit ominous and I don't know, I don't know everything about it right now. I feel like I am properly exploring it. And look, I can very almost, I can very almost see that NPC villager. Right, let me try and hop over here. Oh no, I fell down. Right, can I get around the corner? Right, just about. Uh, is there an NPC villager? I think there is. I think there's a, an NPC villager up in there. Right, I'm kind of cheating a bit and getting on the chandelier. Should I just fly over? Should I just very quickly go and fly over and have a look in? Yeah, look, there's just a little man in there. 
There's just a little man inside of the orb. <laughs> Are you okay in there, buddy? Have you been trapped? <laughs> I feel a bit fat. I kind of feel like I, I don't know, like I, I should free him or something. Maybe at the end of the video, I can, I can see pity on him and uh, let him out of his, his uh, dome prison. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Airbold. I'm sorry for wandering off and not following you. Uh, do you want me to go down that way? Or should we go uh, carry on going this way? Uh, as I said, uh, Airbold is the uh, the main builder. Uh, well, I mean, he's he's the leader. He's been uh, organising his troops as they've uh, all been building this. So uh, he's certainly got a lot of pride and probably uh, wants to uh, wants to show it off in his in his own way, just so I can see it all from the best angles. And this is what I was talking about. As you can see, the sun's gone down, and now look at it. Now look like look at what it looks like, all like gli um, like lit up. You can see there's the uh, the angel statue that we saw a little bit earlier on. And I think we. I started the video down from that courtyard in there, but uh, yeah, at the end of the video, I am going to go and uh, fly around everything and show you uh, what it all looks like from above, because I've not seen that yet. I've literally uh, just joined into the world, and this is uh, my first time seeing everything as it is for you, and so that's why I'm getting so excited and, and exploring everything. I just, I just love it. I just love just seeing these amazing worlds. Like, you could see something like this in a different game, and you could think that it looks cool, uh, but the fact that you know that like a group of very dedicated people have had to go and place every single block and I don't know, just the design work from it is it's amazing, you know, like this could rival like some of the, the building ideas that an architect could have. It's, it's absolutely incredible and uh, I'm a massive fan of Minecraft and uh, just the incredible things that uh, people are able to create always blows my mind. And it's just great that they've done it on Xbox as well because uh, most... Um, of the uh, the most established builders and building teams uh, build on PC uh, because there's a whole load of uh, mods that uh, they can use which uh, enable them to build a lot quicker and uh, they can retexture things and do it how they want so uh, the fact uh, the fact that he's built it on Xbox uh, in my mind just makes it that bit more impressive like because of uh, the Xbox's limitations I think touring a world like this and seeing how good it looks and the fact that this could rival like pretty much like the best builds on PC I don't know it just makes it I don't know, it makes it that bit uh, more special that it was a group of guys using controllers probably in front of a TV rather than uh, the PC version where there's uh, all of these extra features and additions that uh, they can use just to uh, make the game that bit easier to, uh, to build things. Uh, anyway, we seem to be uh, going up to the uh, top, going up into the rafters. I think this is um, some sort of library. I don't know why there's heads everywhere. I noticed earlier there's lots of skeleton heads all over the place and there's a random Steve head just poking out of one of the uh, the books. Uh, the history of builders unit. Ah, oh, you can find out about the history of them. <laughs> they seem to have a, um, a pretty rich history so far considering they've only uh, been around for a year or so. What's that? Stampy's cake recipe! <laughs> Oh, that is awesome! Yay! <laughs> oh no! I, no one can see this. No one can. No one can find out. No one can find out my cake recipe. It's a. It's a big family secret. Okay. You, no, you can't tell anyone. I know what I need to do. I need to hide a cake down here without them noticing. Right, Stampy, Stampy, Stampy. I did it. Don't look. No, nothing to see. Nothing to see. I did it. I got a successful Stampy. I managed to hide a cake next to the uh, the cake recipe, and he didn't notice about it. I need to Stampy again. Right. My challenge is to hide three more cakes. Uh, before the end of the video without him noticing. I've been doing very rubbish so far. <laughs> I guess there's a a little church or chapel uh, down here. Uh, seems to be like an altar there and there's Arbold going to, to sit down. I'm not going to give a sermon. Oh no, it looks like he, he broke the enchantment table. It's just the, the detail everywhere. Like, like if this was me, there'd just be a completely flat roof and just completely straight walls. And yeah, they don't settle for that. They they certainly go for the uh, the more eloquent designs, which um which is good. It's amazing. Anyway, let me try and hide a cake as we leave. Right, go, go. Hide a cake down there. There we go. Did I get away with it? He has no idea. He has no clue that there's a train of cake following behind him and don't worry like I'm only placing a few cakes it's not like uh, I'm absolutely destroying the world like I always like it because I go around placing all of these cakes and then like they might not find some of them until they like see the video like if I hide cakes all around someone's world they might not realize if I hide them really well and then like they only find out about them if they go and watch back the video <laughs> anyway I guess this is a what do you reckon? Is this like a, a canteen or something? Uh, there's some rather big, grand, tall back chairs around here. And uh, is this a fish tank? Do you reckon that's supposed to be? <laughs> or like a, a water cooler? I don't know if that's uh, appropriate with the uh, the time period. Uh, let's have a look in the chest then. Oh, cakes! 
Cakes and bread. It's, it's like a mouth. It looks like the cakes are like the lips and then it's eating like some bread. That's kind of what it looks like, doesn't it? <laughs> Yay! Look, he's stamping his own world. Nom, 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 nom. Thank you very much for that, buddy. <laughs> right, do you reckon I can hide a cake as he leaves? That's the best time to do it. As he turns around to leave like a room. That's the best time to do it. Right, here we go, here we go. Hide the cake. There we go, there we go. I need one more. No, nothing to see, nothing to see. I thought he caught me there. He went to turn around and go back in. I thought I was going to be rumbled. <laughs> right, I've only got one more cake to hide and then I'm going to have successfully stampede enough times. And uh, I think we're going to go and look out the window. Oh, where's Airbold gone? I swear he was jumping up here a second ago. Oh, I've lost him. Oh, he's all the way over here somewhere. Where is he? Oh, <laughs> he's speedy. He's not found my cake, has he? He wasn't trying to distract me and then hiding something else around the world. I think he's, um... I think he's going to, to show me out of the uh, the windows. Uh, let's see what's out here. There we go. I think he, he showed me to the wrong window. I don't think uh, there's that much out of that window. But this is the amazing view. Uh, you can see the uh, the back of the uh, the giant angel statue again down there. It uh, looks amazing. I'm really looking forward to uh, when I put my jetpack on at the end of the video. And I get to uh, go and fly around and see uh, what all of this looks like from above. Because uh, that's often when uh, these worlds look most impressive. When you can uh, like take the whole thing in at a time. Uh, because at the moment we've only been seeing like little sections of the uh, the palace like individually and uh, once we get to to like take to the skies and uh, fly over it all then uh, that's when we can see the uh, the entire palace just like all together and here we go we don't have the glass in the way now look at that view it looks amazing oh he's jumped off he's jumped down i don't think he meant to i think he i think he slipped be careful here there's a few there's a few uh, loose slabs at the top here there's a few <laughs> loose tiles you don't want to uh, slip off the roof uh, we are relatively high and do you reckon we can go right to the top do you reckon you can actually go onto the roof? I can't believe how high it goes. I kept thinking we're on like the, the final floor, then it gets even higher. And look at this. Look at this banquet. Oh, look, there's a man there. Do you reckon that's like the king? <laughs> oh, look at his look at his clothes. That, that's really clever. That's a um that's an end portal, I think that is. And then yeah, it makes him look like he's a grand or maybe like some sort of general or something. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Oh, don't kill him. Oh look, oh here we go. He's letting me sit in the throne. <laughs> if I put on the mask. I can pretend that I'm the king. Everybody cat bow to Steve Stampy Cat. <laughs> that is... It's slightly terrifying, isn't it, seeing a cat with a, a human face like that? <laughs> I think I might keep that on to the rest of the video just for fun. There's no point stamping here because there's cakes all over the place anyway. Anyway, let's go and have a, a wander around and uh, let's have a look at some of the, the other views you can get looking down on stuff. Oh, look at the tower. I never saw the top of it. Look at the way it's all burning like that. And oh, is he, has he fallen off again? He's very clumsy. <laughs> Every time he walks to anywhere, he just accidentally goes and slips off and falls all over the place. <laughs> anyway, I think this might be the... I think this might be the, the very top of the area, so uh, I don't know if there's uh, anywhere else we can go higher. So what I might quickly do, uh, before it becomes properly day, uh, is I might go and have a quick fly around and show you what it all looks like from the outside. Look at this place. This place is it's incredible. This is absolutely amazing. And I'm not just building this up. I'm not just trying to be overly nice. Like, even though I do want to be nice, I'm not just trying to... I don't know, make everyone in Builder's Unit have a big grin on their face and go red in the face. It's just incredible. And look at it with the, the sun in the background as well. Let me fly all the way out here so we can see like the, the palace and uh, all of the angel together. It just looks amazing, doesn't it? It just, it's so, it's so big and detailed. Like uh, I said it before, normally you get either a massive build or something which is smaller, uh, but got loads of detail. And this is both, it's massive and it's got detail absolutely everywhere you look. And so yeah, uh, I think that builders unit should definitely uh, be very happy with uh, what they've created here. And I've had a very good time uh, in my time here wandering around and uh, having an exclusive preview at the uh, the Palace of Sodon. And so as I said, uh, there'll be a link in the description uh, to a download. Uh, so if you do want to download this and uh, play it for yourself, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, convert it into a Hunger Games or I don't know, just uh, go around with your friends and uh, explore the, uh, the palace for yourself to see if there's any uh, secret areas or anything that I missed in this video. Uh, yeah, you can definitely go and do that. Uh, the download link should be in the description. Uh, if not, uh, it should be there uh, relatively soon. And uh, also, as I said, uh, there will be a link to uh, Builders Unit's YouTube channel uh, if you want to see some videos of uh, some of the uh, the other things that they've been building. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, I'll be going and seeing uh, some of their other builds in the future. That's the end of this video. I want to thank you very much for watching and I will see you later. Bye!